This home that we're about to walk has a second floor balcony that looks out to this amazing view. If you like custom homes, then stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. Today, we're walking through a 2022 build that is four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, over 3,600 square feet, and is for sale at $1.8 million. Now there is so much great design work in this home. As soon as you first walk in, it's open to the second story. And according to the MLS, we are sitting on a half an acre. So I will get outside, I'll show you the backyard, even towards the end of the video, I'll take my drone up in the air and I'll show you Lake Travis and the waterway that's behind this home. And you'll get a good visual of that when we get back upstairs, I'll show you the second floor balcony and there's even a couple surprises upstairs that I'm excited for you to see. Now I did want to take some time to thank the listing agents Alex and Casey Rogers at Compass Realty. I do appreciate them allowing me to put this home on my channel and show you what's possible in the hills of Leander, Texas. Starting off in the kitchen, I love this waterfall countertop on the kitchen island. I think if you're gonna do a waterfall, it makes sense to do it with a countertop that has a stark contrast within the countertop, like these dark veins running through it. And then I do think the dark kitchen cabinets pull from those veins, and I think it's a great combination to have. Also, I like the cabinet overlay on this kitchen island. It matches up really well with the flooring, which is a white oak hardwood. On the right side, we have a very large oven and stovetop. And I like how on this side, they put the pot filler above that stovetop. And notice the countertops to the left and right of the stovetop are just a white countertop, no veins but the kitchen backsplash has all these different veins running through it. They did this from a design standpoint so that when you curl around the living room, you look at the kitchen, you obviously notice the waterfall kitchen island with all those veins that we just saw previously. And then it looks like it just extends upward into the kitchen backsplash. And I love when design does this, where you enter a room and your eyes just go all the way to the end of the room because the design is showing you that way, or they have a great ceiling design so your eyes just go upward. It makes things feel so so much bigger and after walking hundreds of these homes i've had so many people say when the design is great it feels so much bigger and they don't realize it's really the design that's doing it moving on we're in the pantry which is right behind the kitchen and while we're here i'll just show you there is a two-car garage there's also a utility room and i like how they used a very fun tile on the floor here in the utility room for a lot of my clients that build from scratch they always love doing something fun like this either in their utility room or their powder bathroom. Both spaces are usually not that big of a space, so you can get away with doing something fun like this, like that, that busier type of tile. They had some great built-in cabinetry in that utility room, and they also have something fun here in the two-car garage. So if you're really into golf, I think this is one way to do it. You just set this up and you can get as many shots as you want in. I actually have a good friend that did this in their media room and they have a golf simulator so when they hit the ball it plays into a video game like an actual shot in that game now i'm not much into golf i don't have the patience for it yet but let me know if you are into golf if that's what you would do in your two-car garage getting back into the kitchen i love that you can see the hillside suit through the sliding glass doors and wait until we head outside you'll get a better look at that hillside and you'll obviously see it again at the second floor balcony it is breathtaking. So I'm excited to show you that. And even while we're here on the first floor, you may not get a view in the dining room, but you get a lot of greenery that's just beyond those windows. And speaking of those windows, I like how they wrapped both walls with those windows. And then they have these shades that when they come down, they still allow for some natural light to come in. And you can even catch glimpses of the trees and the greenery even beyond those shades. So it gives you privacy, but still keeps the space open. What's also very open is the backyard and the patio, and I can't wait for you to see this. And while we head out there, I do want to talk about the area that we're in because it's very interesting. We are located in Leander, Texas, but we're right on the border of Austin, Texas, and the two suburbs that are very fast growing outside of Austin, Texas, which is Cedar Park and Leander, where we're in right now. And the reason why I talk about these fast growing suburbs is because when you look at this backyard, you have this beautiful patio. Uh, this is actually going to be the patio just outside of the primary bedroom, which we're going to get to next. You got that hillside in the back that I talked about earlier, and we're sitting on a half an acre. It's so beautiful back here. 
It's peaceful, serene, and I think for most people, when they see a backyard like this, they make the assumption that a half an acre with a home like this for 1.8 million, it has to be so far away from everything. And I'm here to tell you it's not. Due to the growth that's happening along the northwest corridor of Austin, there are massive developments in Cedar Park and in Leander that I can post links to in the description of this video if you want more details. But a high level is they are mixed use development projects so that you can go there, park your car, walk around and get that urban feel that I think a lot of people are looking to have close by to their home, but not have to go to downtown every time they want that feeling. And that project is coming up the Northwest Corridor with the Bell District in Cedar Park, Leander North Line, Leander Springs. These are huge projects that are coming close by to homes like this. And so I love getting that combination of great areas, lots of growth, and also a great home like what you're seeing here in the living room. Check out that dropped ceiling design that they had the lights running through the inside. You have this fireplace around that looks fantastic. And then these sliding glass doors just open up that space right in the patio into those beautiful hills and all the greenery that's behind this home. Now I told you there was a patio just outside the primary bedroom and that's gonna be right here. Now I like how they did sliding glass doors on the back wall here. It opens up that space and gives you a view of the hillside that we saw earlier. I like the ceiling design. You see a running theme here, right? Great windows, great design, and the ceilings. It continues to draw your eyes outward to the outside of the home, as well as upward to the ceiling. And those things make a huge difference. Like imagine waking up here in the primary bedroom you open up these curtains, I'm giving you the full experience here, and you just get that hillside in the back, you get all this greenery, absolutely fantastic. And this is where square footage as a number, I don't wanna call it deceptive, I think sometimes it can feel inaccurate because when you walk homes like this, it feels so much bigger. And that's why I love walking these homes because some people, especially if they're looking at a state, they're just looking at numbers on a screen and they're not walking these homes, getting all the design elements that are in here. And that continues in the primary bathroom. Take a look at all the design in here. You have tile on the sides with veins running through them. You have a dark accent wall that's pulling those veins off the wall. And then inside the walk-in shower, you have a freestanding tub and you have two shower heads on this side. Let me know what you think about a freestanding tub in the shower. I, I've seen this now a few times with custom homes. I think it's interesting uh, for me personally, I guess I'm not much of a tub person. I am a rain shower person though. I love the rain shower in here. And I like how this walk-in shower is so big, they don't even have a door. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, having a freestanding tub in the walk-in shower. Do you like it or do you prefer the space? Moving on, we are in the primary closet. One thing I noticed in the primary closet is look how well lit this room is. Obviously there are no windows in the primary closet here. I think the flooring is making such a big difference in this primary closet. It's the same flooring that's throughout the first floor. And I think it was a great decision by the builder because it keeps everything very light and bright. And I can't tell you how big of a difference that makes in a home. And while we head back to the front of the home and I'll show you the rest of the first story and then we'll head upstairs, I'll tell you how big of a difference it makes. I had two homes that were exactly the same, same floor plan by a production home builder, but one of them was designed by a homeowner that shows very dark floors, very dark finishes. And that home sat on market for three months, had multiple price reductions, and that same plan with great design sold in four days. So these things that I'm pointing out make a huge difference. Like when you get back to the front of this home, notice the windows that they put up there. It just opens up that space, gives you that grand feeling when you first walk in the front door. And then you get that same feeling when you enter this study where even with the shades down, you're getting still a lot of natural light coming in. You have this drop ceiling design that they continue to put throughout the home. I think it's fantastic here. And just imagine sitting down here, working from home, and off your left shoulder are windows that look out to the front of the home. If you wanna take a call outside, you got double doors right in front of you that go right out to the front entrance of the home. And then I did record this in the morning. So as you'll see in the morning, the sun rises at the front of the home. So if you open up these blinds, you get a lot of natural light coming in, especially in the morning. Really well done study, and I like the positioning of it inside the home right at the front entrance. 
What I love about this study too is once you get out of it, you can see right through those sliding glass doors to the greenery in the backyard. And I think you're met with that as soon as you get in from the front door as well. And then on this side, we do have a powder bathroom. I like how it had some unique touches of some gold, some black in here, and they just mixed it up, making this space feel more unique than the other spaces that we've seen previously. Now we do have two bedrooms downstairs. We're also, we'll also see two bedrooms upstairs. For the second bedroom downstairs, it does have an in-suite full bathroom, which we'll see next. It does look out to the front of the home, so that's why I have the shades down. There's tons of natural light coming in, and sometimes my camera has a lot of difficulty showing a room when there's that much natural light coming in. Uh, and then you do have a walk-in closet on this side. I like the positioning of this second bedroom downstairs. It's private from the uh, primary bedroom that's here. It's private from the common areas. And then it has some unique touches that you don't see anywhere else in the home. We have this very cool accent wall. And actually what's even surprising, it's not just an accent wall, it's a floor tile. And they just extend that same tile up the wall all the way to the ceiling. I think that looks amazing. In fact, I have to write that down. Uh, that's why I love doing these videos too. When I have clients that are going to the design studio and they say, we want to do something fun in the primary bathroom. Do you have any ideas? I have a list of ideas and it's basically snapshots of a lot of new construction homes or custom home walkthroughs that have these really cool design touches. And that's definitely one I'm going to note because I think that looked incredible. Okay, let's head upstairs. There's still a lot to see here. I can't wait for, to show you that second floor balcony. And then I told you there was a surprise upstairs. You're actually gonna see it here. So spoiler alert, uh, through those windows, there is a terrace that's on the front of the home. So we'll take a look at that later on in the video. To try to go in order here, so you get a good flow of the space, there is a bedroom that is looking out at the front of the home. That would be through those shades. And then we get some good privacy here. So the common area, like the game room, second floor balcony, even the terrace, it's on the other side of the stairwell landing. So you get some good privacy in this bedroom. And like I mentioned, it does look out to the front of the home. So you see the driveway and the front yard there. Now we also have an in-suite full bathroom in this bedroom. And while we go in here, I do want to explain that this is a custom home. And what that means is when this home was built in 2022, the person who bought this bought the land and then they had a custom home builder build on this land. Most people don't realize that not all new construction is custom home builds. In fact, the most amount of new construction sales is usually done with production home builders. Now, production home builders, they're usually in these big master plan communities and they offer you floor plans and then options within those floor plans, but you can't really deviate from those plans. If they don't have an option and you ask for it, a lot of times you get, you're told no. And so that's the best part about custom is you get told yes a lot more. You tend to get more of what you want, but there are also still gonna be cons. Like it might take a little bit longer. It might be a little bit more expensive. And there are just gonna be pros and cons to working with every builder that's out there. And I've represented buyers now with 19 different builders just in the last two years. So I can always help you navigate through that if you are looking to build a home like this from scratch. Just reach out to me, my info's in the description of this video. But if you like this particular home, then definitely let me know because it is for sale right now. And you could have a game room like this, that has built-in cabinetry and a wet bar on this side that has a similar countertop to what we saw earlier. And then you have this amazing view right here, sitting down in the game room. There are hills everywhere through the sliding glass doors, even through the transom windows that are on this right side. You just see that hillside peeking out through there. That is so cool. And let's just head outside. I think this is the best part of the home. Uh, of course, I wanna hear from you in the comments at the end of the video. I wanna know what you felt like was the best part. What I think is the best has gotta be right here on the second floor balcony. I have to share with you, this is one of the main reasons why I got into real estate because I didn't know Hills existed here in the Austin metro area or anywhere in Texas for that matter. So I was just surprised when coming out to areas like this because I just, I, I didn't know it existed. So you have uh, these beautiful hills on the western side of Austin. You have the Colorado River running through these hills and then various swellings of that river that we call lakes like Lake Travis 
are just absolutely gorgeous. And you'll see what I mean in a few minutes where I take my drone up in the air above this house and I'll show you around this area. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying, I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing when we came out to these areas. So that's why I got into real estate. I just said to myself, more people need to see this and see what's possible with these incredible homes, these amazing views, these big backyards. And there are just so many boxes that this home and this lot is checking for people that are looking to move to Texas. And I'm here to tell you that there are lots of opportunities like this. And navigating through the market and helping buyers get into homes like this, it's it's so much fun. It's stressful, it's definitely stressful, but when you have a finished home like this that you can sit down on a second floor balcony and just gaze out your backyard and really take in that view, really take in the beauty that's here in Austin, it is so worth it to go hand in hand with buyers. A lot of my buyers that even build from scratch where it takes months to build that home, sometimes even a year, year and a half. I think my longest was 21 months. It's still worth it to go through that process hand in hand with people because that finished product, that, that feeling that you get when you walk through your home finished, it is so special. Okay, getting back into the home here, we still have uh, another bedroom, a full bathroom, and then I can't wait to show you that terrace on the front of the home. So this bathroom is going to be accessible from the game room and then it's also accessible in suite from the last bedroom that we're going to see we still continue to have that great design work in here they use the white and black color pattern uh, you see that here in the walk-in shower as well and if you're tall enough you also get a view right from the walk-in shower which i thought was very cool and then this is going to be a, a walk-in closet that's accessible through the bathroom and then while we go through this bedroom, I do want to clarify something I said at the beginning of the video, which I say often, which is you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. I say it because so many people get surprised when they reach out to me and I tell them that there's another realtor that's better for them because of the criteria that they explained to me. And what I want to tell everyone is when you're making one of the biggest decisions of your life, biggest financial decisions for sure, of where you're going to buy your home, what are you going to buy? It's so important to work with a realtor who specializes in your criteria and so my specialty tends to be a lot more new construction like I said earlier I've represented buyers now with 19 different builders just in the last two years so I tend to do a lot more newer homes newer construction and that's my expertise now when people reach out to me and they have different criteria maybe it's a lot more resale homes maybe it's new construction in Dallas or Houston or San Antonio I can connect you to great realtor partners who are more specialized in those areas of real estate that can help you. So in other words, if you reach out to me, I'll be very upfront and honest with you and tell you if I think I'm the best, if I'm not, I'll connect you with a great realtor. Moving on, we are in the terrace, uh, which I mentioned earlier. I thought this was such a fun surprise to see this in this custom home. You do get some views off the side of the home here, but I think you also just get a space for entertaining. So if you have a lot of people over your home and you want to take everyone up to that second floor, maybe you put a pool table right in that game room and just make this a fun hangout area. I think it's so great to have this large terrace right off the front of your home. Again, great for entertaining. Now I've talked a lot about the beauty that's out here. We've seen the hills, we've seen a little bit of the Colorado River, but I have to show it to you more in detail. Check this out. Heading over the home, you'll have a really good idea of how close the water is to this home. From the second floor balcony, I know it looked like it was all the way out there in the distance, but you'll see some boat ramps and then some boat docks here in a second. You'll see the river slices into this, what they're calling Max Canyon, and you get a really good proximity being in a home like this to the waterway. What's also close by is a resort called Miraval. Miraval is such an interesting place. So I know people that fly to Austin just to go to Miraval and people go there to just relax, go to the spa. There are also people that do like team retreats, maybe with their company where they go there for like the outdoor activities or there's team building activities like uh, archery, there's a challenge course. Afterwards, you can have a culinary experience where a chef comes in and cooks for you. And there, there's just so many different things that you can do in that resort area. And it's around a six minute drive from the house that we just toured. And then around this home, 
as you can tell you have these amazing hills you have parks close by you have lake travis close by that has lots of restaurants that look over lake travis it is so beautiful out here now if you did want to see more options like this and you need help navigating the market again reach out to me my info is in the description of this video and then i did want to thank one more time alex and casey rogers at compass realty they were the listing agents for this home and let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this home was and if you want to see another home like this click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen and as always hope this helps take care everyone